Here we're asked to solve the following linear uh, homogeneous differential equation. And it has a special name. Uh, it's called a, a Cauchy-Euler type equation. And you can see that the coefficients of u prime uh, and u double prime are functions. So, you know, in a first course in differential equations or in calculus 2 or something like this, you learn how to solve this problem when the uh, coefficients are constant. So this is no longer the case. But it still bears, the, the solution method still bears a resemblance to that, that very basic constant coefficient case. Okay, now think back to the constant coefficient case, you form a special quadratic equation called a, a well, characteristic equation or the quadratic equation. We're going to do a similar thing with this one. Okay, so we're going to assume the solution is in the following form x to the lambda, where um, lambda is some number that we would like to determine. Okay, so, okay, let, let's see how we can determine lambda. Well, let's just differentiate it once, differentiate it twice, and sub it into the left, uh, into star. Okay, now you can see that because of the structure of these coefficient functions, when you sub the, these uh, power functions in, you're actually going to get a common factor of x to the lambda in the left-hand side. And that goes in there and you're going to get some... Well, basically, you're going to get the powers all coming up to lambda. So uh, you're going to get something like this. Okay, so we can form a quadratic in here. Just simplifying a little bit. Okay, so let's think about this uh, quadratic. Okay. Now, the first case is true if and only if the x is um, uh, 0, right? The second case, this is the, the case, the non-trivial case, the case that we're interested in. Okay, so what I can do here, I can solve the quadratic and uh, find lambda in a number of ways. Um, with this one, I'm going to complete the square and just rearrange it. So you take half the coefficient of the lambda, square it, add it, and uh, take it away from the left-hand side. So this is a perfect square now. So if I take the positive and negative, uh, or take, take the square roots of both sides, I'll get something like this. I'll get... Um, Lambda equals minus 1 plus or minus 1 half i. Where, remember, i squared is just negative 1. OK, so our roots then are complex, which is an important thing to recognize. In fact, they're of the form alpha plus or minus i beta where alpha is a real number and beta is some positive uh, um, real number. Now, under, under that the complex root situation, we get a, a special form of solution. Okay? It's the following form. Uh, sorry. X to the alpha times the following.
Okay? Where big A and big B are arbitrary constants. So this is a, a slightly um, more, uh, uh, I guess, um, abstract version of the version that you saw in first year. Okay, in first year you would have an exponential here and you, you wouldn't have the logarithm here, you just have bx and b, uh, beta x and beta x. Okay, so here alpha is minus one, beta is uh, one half. So we get the following. 